On the mound for the San Diego Padres is indeed Sean Manaya. Yeah, and Sean's coming off one of his better starts of the year, considering where he had to throw the baseball at in a place that it seems like no Padre has thrown it well in Colorado. Three pitch mix from Sean, and the Diamondbacks know it well. Sinker, slider, change up. He'll use that sinker at the top of the zone. It's given teams a lot of issues this season. Here to Carson Kelly to get it started. The first pitch of this one swinging, lifting a fly ball to right field. As to Ure Ruiz, a little staggered, but he's there to make the catch for out number one. It was the one guy that actually conquered it, though. Swing and a miss. There's strikeout number one for Manaya. Two down in the first inning. Pretty simple there. All three pitches used in that at bat finishes with a fastball. Marte a home run in yesterday's game, a 5-3 Padre win. Bloop to right, Ruiz coming in, dives and makes the catch. Nicely done. As to Ure Ruiz coming in to make the grab. He's in his first career start out in right field with a star-worthy play to end the top half of inning number one. Just getting started in San Diego where your Diamondback starting pitcher tonight is the left-hander Tyler Gilbert getting a third successive turn through the rotation. An impressive outing against the Rockies at Chase Field Gonzo last Sunday. Yeah, he's been really good his last couple of starts there that 0 and 3 record 5.33 but he's only given up one earned run in his last nine innings pitch so he's been really good for the D-backs. This is in his career against them. This is a base hit into center field. Dirksen Profar starts the bottom of the first inning with a single. Batters Jake Cronenworth the first pitch is hit high in the air towards left center field and Luplo will call off Alec Thomas and make the catch. Nice response from Gilbert as there's now still one on. 0-2 is bounced to third. Rojas for a one. Kennedy throws it past Christian Walker. Well, that might have gotten the Diamondbacks out of the inning. Instead, it's a chance for Jorge Alfaro. 1-2. Right back to the mound. Tyler's got it. And he's out of the bottom of the first. We've played one at Petco Park in San Diego. D-backs and the Padres. No score. Scoreless as we get ready for the second inning. It's popped up into shallow right. Ruiz wandering in again. He's been busy and up to the task three times. Jake McCarthy steps in. Jake in right field tonight. Jake's one of those guys, he gets on base, he can run. Sounded like he broke his bat. Cronenworth at first base, knocks it down, and there goes McCarthy heading for second. Look at Jake McCarthy sliding into second base as Batten got out there, and he almost dropped the ball as well. Matthew Batten getting the start at second. He almost gave McCarthy third. Yeah, he puts a lot of pressure on that defense. 2 2. Swing and a miss, and Manaya strikes out Kennedy. Second strikeout for Manaya wraps up the top of the second. We're scoreless. Now, here is Rojas. Be curious to see how they position the second baseman Batten for the Padres. And they're going to move him well over to the right. Fights that one off, and that's just foul at third, says Bill Miller. Well, that was close. Sure was. Didn't miss by much, but that's foul. There has an announcement. Looks like they're going to challenge. Arizona is challenging the call of foul ball. After review, the call is overturned. The ball is fair. The runners will be placed at second and third, and Arizona will retain its challenge. Now, the backs in a great position here with two outs because you've got Cattell Marte coming up now with a chance to put the Arizona Diamondbacks up by a couple. And he taps that to shortstop, Kim. Well, they win the challenge, but they can't capitalize. Benaya strands two. And as we head to the home half of the third at Petco Park, still no score. Back out there for the home half of the third. Well, you got to like his pitch count, too. Got to hustle. Rojas charges. Little bobble there from Josh, but he's able to get it out of the glove. Here comes the 2 2. Right by him, Tyler Gilbert gets his first strikeout. He's retired eight consecutive batters. A little bit tougher on the mound for Gilbert. And he's looking very sharp again to start this one. Buddy Kennedy ranging way out there. McCarthy calls everybody off. And that's nine straight retired by Tyler Gilbert. We head to the fourth. No score, Diamondbacks and the Padres. Top of the fourth inning, Christian Walker to lead off against Sean Manaya. Pitch in there for strike three. Walker doesn't like it, takes with him the third K for Manaya. Not quite sure why Christian is so upset. One out now for Jordan Luplo. 
Loop low, skies one to left. Jerickson Profar got a bad read. He's got a hustle to get to this one. And there it goes. It hopped up and over. Boy, yeah. Profar started coming in, Gonzo. I don't think he ever saw it. No, you're exactly right. I think the time of night right now, he just lost that one right off the bat. A one pitch. Bloop to left, and going out is Kim coming in. Profar makes the catch. Well, you can understand if he was a little bit, I don't know, <laughs> Nervous about coming in like that because that's about where the collision took place. Well, this is the second time in two at bats that Buddy Kennedy has come up with a runner at second base and two outs. Buddy center field Grisham won't get there. Here comes Luplo and it gets behind him. Buddy Kennedy and he'll head for third. Tony Paris Chica going to stop him there and it's one nothing Diamondback. Grisham couldn't quite get to that one then it rolled behind him all the way to the wall out there. Here's the 0 1. That's hit in the air. In the air to left field. Over goes Profar. And he'll make the catch for out number three. But a run for the Diamondbacks in the inning. It's 1 0 Arizona. In the top of the fifth inning, Sean Benaya will face Geraldo Perdomo to start the inning. 3 and 2 on Geraldo Perdomo. The walks against Manaya to lead off the fifth. Well, another good at bat for Perdomo. First walk issued by Manaya. Now here's the leadoff man, Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly fly ball left field and there it goes Carson Kelly sends one out of here and the Diamondbacks have a three nothing lead. Boy he has really turned his season around Gonzo at the plate. That's number four for Carson. Two time all star Jake Cronenworth will lead off in the bottom of the sixth inning three to one Diamondbacks. To left and Luplo on the run not going to get there jumps up into the seats it'll be a double just showed the graphic of the troubles for Tyler Gilbert the third time through the lineup and Jake Cronenworth gets things started here three and one to Manny goes to the cutter misses for ball four first walk allowed by Gilbert he was not going to let Machado beat him and it'll be the last hitter that he faces because here comes Torrey Lovello Noe Ramirez in to face Jorge Alfaro with runners at first and second Swing and a miss. Noe Ramirez gets some fastballs by Alfaro. Padres trail three to one. Runners on first and second here in the bottom of the sixth. One down. Luke Voigt. High drive. Deep left field for Voigt. It is gone. Luke Voigt and his chest moss just left the building. Three run home run for Voigt and the Padres take the lead. Ramirez finally throws him a fastball and I bet you he regrets it at this point. Garcia being called upon here to face Christian Walker. Presumably if it stays tight he would start the eighth inning as well. There's man responsible for the runners at first and second. That is ball four and it's going to load the bases. That looked like a pretty good pitch at 99 at the knees. And here comes David Peralta to face Garcia. 359 career hitter in this spot. Three grand slams on his resume. Line and caught at second base. Matthew Batten reels it in out of the bases loaded jam is Luis Garcia Peralta with a hot shot but he hits it right at Matthew Batten Taylor Rogers out on the mound to try and uh, pick up a save for the second consecutive night he got his 25th yesterday in a 5 3 Padre win popped up backpedaling his Batten into the short right field area calling and catching out number three ball game over a 1 2 3 ninth inning for Taylor Rogers who will indeed pick up the save as the Padres win this one and take the series.